Hey, welcome everybody back to the channel, this YouTube channel, and I'm happy that you've already hit the subscribe button and you're gonna like this video because we sent out an email to about 3,000 people. We got about 300 responses about what has worked in the past and what has made people fall off. So today, we are reading an email that came from Kara, and Kara said that cardio has worked in the past, running, and Zumba have helped her in the past to lose weight. But where she's fallen off is she often gets pain, probably the pain from running in the knees, or she gets really busy with family obligations. The weather, yes, 100% if you're from Winnipeg, the weather does affect your ability to go outside. I know if it's minus 35 and there's three feet of snow, I'm more than likely not going to run outside either. And doing the same old exercise routine or the same old Zumba routine, that keeps her from, from wanting to continue to go forward and it also makes it boring for her so then it keeps her from getting the weight off. And I agree with what she's saying there is that if you're doing the same thing over and over again, so if you go on the treadmill and you run on the treadmill and you're always running at the same pace for the same distance and it's the same body, so you haven't added any more like extra ankle weights or shoulder weights on you, then eventually that same exercise becomes easy. So you might notice that you're losing weight at the front end but towards the middle and the back end, it just becomes routine for you. So yes, you're gonna maintain that level of fitness, but unless you're moving faster, going further, or adding more resistance, then you're eventually going to hit a plateau. And in fact, I challenge you that if you are a runner or you're trying running, that you monitor your heart rate when you first get going. And monitor your heart rate over the course of three months and just see that when you start your runs, or even within your first 10 minutes, just track your heart rate for the first 10 minutes, you're gonna see that your heart rate's eventually going to go down because your body is getting accustomed to it. Now again, that's if you're going at the same pace, it's if you are, you know, you haven't added any more resistance and uh, you're not going any further, then uh, you know, eventually you're actually gonna burn less and less calories, leading to a plateau, and then if the weather changes, you know, it's gonna be hard to maintain that running routine. Now I love cardio, I love running, and I love Zumba. I think that they're all supplementary exercises. Me, personally, I'm more of a resistance and HIIT training guy. I've seen over the past 20 years, people getting the most amount of results from staying consistent to a resistance slash HIIT slash cardio where it's got a variable resistance, a variable push, different types of movements, and nobody's really hitting any plateaus yet because there's always something that can be done. And so when you're supplementing it with your cardio, running, or Zumba, I think those are amazing, great tools. In fact, I get one of my biggest caloric burns when I go to Sunday on Strongs uh, because that's something new to my body, right? And so it's great for that kind of once a week blast that really kind of gets the heart rate up and challenges my body in different ways. And so when it comes to losing the weight that you wanna lose, I think that there's gotta be a variable. There's gotta be a lot of change in your programming, this way that you, you stay focused, you stay interested, and then eventually consistency is gonna pay off. So when you have pain, it's about pain prevention and pain maintenance. So if you're working out and you're pushing yourself every day, you're going to feel something. That's the intent of exercise, to break down tissue. It's like creating little scars in your muscles so that they can break down and build up. Now, I'm not saying that you need to destroy yourself at every workout, but you do have to push your body to the point of change, okay? So there's a difference between being sore and being in pain, and you have to know the difference. When you're in pain, you have to alleviate that pain. You need to do a rehab routine, which is then eventually going to get you into a point where you can push yourself into muscle soreness. Now, the question I would ask you if you are in pain is that are you warming up properly? So is your exercise plan thought out and laid out properly? A lot of people, if they start to take up running, they just go out and start running. There's no progression, it's just like, I'm just gonna run for as long as I can. My goal is one mile today. But one mile, I remember the first time I tried running one block, my shins were on fire, my knees were sore, I couldn't even walk properly down the stairs for about three or four days. And that was one block, and that's me that works out every single day. So whenever you're planning an exercise routine, you have to make sure that it's been thought out, it's been laid out, and it's progressive in nature. Now, when it comes to the pain or the recovery, I would ask, that: are, are you putting the right fluids in your body to accommodate this movement? Think about water like oil in your car. Would you allow your 
car to run out of oil and then would you go out and race it on the highway? I don't think so. And so why would you do the same thing for your body? Water, I know we keep talking about it, but it's so important, especially now that you're working out. Now the question I would ask you as well is, are you doing the body care as if you're a $10 million a year athlete? Right? They said LeBron in one year spent over a million dollars on his body. Well, yeah, obviously he's making like $50 million, but at the same time, you might have health benefits or you have a bathtub that you can do a hot bath. You can get into the cold. I mean, if you're from Winnipeg, we've got tons of snow where you can do a cold bath. So you have to be doing these things constantly so that your body is recovering. You gotta treat yourself. Don't just think, hey, I do my workout and that's it, my day is done. You have to do the water, you have to do the proper nutrition, you have to do your warm up, you have to do your stretches, and you have to take care of your body as if you're getting paid to do your workouts. So I really hope that you guys found these tips helpful. I have helped, hope I've helped you motivate and get you start thinking about when you start to add extra exercises to your body and how far you should be pushing yourself. Because remember, to vary your workouts, you need to stay consistent and you need to take care of your body in order to achieve your fitness goals. Now before you go, hit the like button, throw a comment in the sections, and stay tuned for the next video where I'm gonna share more strategies on how to make this your fittest year yet.